So today we're talking about an inspiration or clone of expensive fragrance on the market. I call it a high-end niche fragrance brand. It's La La Beau and the fragrance is Centel 33. I love that fragrance. If it wasn't for the fact they made Bergamot 22 by La La Beau, I would have bought Santel 33. That's my first amazing fragrance I love from the house. People say it's New York scent. I don't know about all that. I just love it for myself. I don't get the pickle vibe people get. Thank God I don't because I would not like the fragrance. I don't eat pickles. I don't like the smell of it. So on and so forth. The aroma is pretty bad. What I'm trying to say is that Santel 33 is an amazing scent. One of the best from the house. One of the best sellers on top of Bergamot 22. But today I have an inspiration or a clone of it. I'm gonna tell you how I feel about it. And the fragrance is from the house at ALT Fragrances. This is simply Santel. This is extra de parfum. So on this video, I'm gonna tell you about my performance, how I feel about it, how much it actually costs, and if you should try it or buy a sample first. Let's take a look at the presentation. Really nice presentation, minimalistic, ALT. And then it has fragrances in the back, has an extra de parfum on the sides made by ALT Fragrances. Pretty cool presentation. Nothing special, but it's very nicely put. This is the bottle. This is a 30 ml bottle, which is gonna run you $39. If you like this in a lot more, you want a bigger size. They have a, they have a 60 ml for $10 or more, so it's $49. And if you want the big 100 ml bottle, it's gonna run you $59. It's literally about a $10 per um, upgrade size you go. So you go from 30 mil, 60 mil, 100 mil, it's $10 plus more. Not too bad if you're trying to spend money on a budget, you're spending 60 bucks for a 100 mil bottle of the inspiration of Centel 33. So I have the real one here sprayed on a test strip. I got this at Nordstrom. Oh man, it smells so good. Now I'm gonna spray the clone here. Now I've worn this one four times straight. Sprayers are okay, nothing to write home about, but it gets the job done, right? Okay, now, the opening is a little bit off. I wanna say it's about 15% off. It's not as close as the original Santel 33. In the opening, you know, you get that, um, some spice, you get some sandalwood, you get some cardamom, some cedar, but I don't get that in the open. I get like this, like, slightly alcoholic feel. It doesn't seem like it's really well blended in the opening. But then once you get past that 15, 20 minute mark, it's very smooth. It's very close to Santel 33, where you're like smelling them side by side, trying to pick them out. And they're really close. I mean, you can tell a little bit of quality is off with um, simply um, Santel. But at the end of the day, you know, somebody that just wants to smell somewhat close to it, that don't want to break the bank, because the original Santel 33 for La La Beau, it's going to run you $230 for a 50 ml bottle and $332 for a 100 ml bottle. Nobody wants to spend $230 for a fragrance. With tax, is probably about $250, $245. A lot of people are on budgets now with life, trying to buy groceries, pay car payments, pay your mortgage. I understand that. You know, to each its own, if you can afford the real thing and you like it, go ahead and rock it. This is for somebody that wants to try this out first and then they get tired of this, they wanna to upgrade to the real thing. It's great if you don't have the money to afford it. You can smell very close to Santel 33 on a budget and at the end of the day if you're not a reviewer nobody cares you can wear this scent and tell people you smell like Santel 33 they wouldn't know the difference most time people like the way you smell that's it they don't care if it's a, a clone the real thing if it's expensive niche or designer fragrance they say hey you smell good that's pretty much as far as the conversation goes you're not a niche head nobody cares you smell good that's majority of Americans when you go to work you go on a date night with significant other. You go out in public. Oh, you smell great, man. What are you wearing? I want to get that fragrance. How much it costs? 40 bucks? Oh, I want to get it. That's how it goes. You know what I mean? You don't have to be a reviewer like me to buy expensive fragrances. Buy what you can afford. On my channel, I give you recommendations. That's it. Now, if I want to buy the real thing or the clone, that's my own personal standard and what I can afford out of my own paycheck. That's it at the end of the day. This fragrance here, oh, man. It's pretty close, guys. I would say it's about... I would say it's about 90% close to the real thing. So if you like Santel 33, but you're on a budget, this is very good. It's gonna quench your thirst. It's gonna give you enough um, of the DNA without going broke. You know what I mean? And nobody wants to go broke buying one fragrance. With this, you can buy this fragrance. You can buy their inspiration of Creed Aventus. You can buy their inspiration. I think they have Dior Sauvage. I think they have Blue Day Chanel as well. They have a bunch of designer and high-end niche fragrances 
that are inspirations for affordable prices. So definitely check out the website. I think this is great. Now let's talk about performance because it's not going to be as good as the real thing, but it does work. For me, I get about a good 45 minutes to maybe an hour of very nice projection. So you're looking at about an hour of moderate projection. I would say it's about half an arm's length where people are going to detect it around you. After that, it does come closer to the skin. Longevity, you're looking at about, I get about five to six hours, which isn't bad for this fragrance. I think the original, I think I get about eight or nine or 10, but you're gonna get better with the real thing. But this here, you're gonna get about five, six hours and it's gonna work for you. You can always grab the bottle where you take it to your work, reapply it, or you can actually buy a decan or travel atomizer and spray it again at work if you wanna refresh yourself. But at the end of the day, you're saving money and that's what this video is about. That's what this brand is about. They don't want you to go broke. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you want to smell great, but you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on fragrances, or you don't want to have $200 of fragrances sitting around like I do, trying to find out what I want to wear each day. <laughs> Let's talk about the seasons and occasions. So personally, me, this is going to be more of a all year round scent. You can wear it in spring, summer, fall, winter. Not really wrong time to wear it. It's sandalwood, cardamom, cedar, papaya, uh, violet leaf, iris, amber. It's a scent you can wear anytime. Now, some of you might want toner sprays down a little bit. You might want to do one or two. You don't want to go three or four for heavy because when the summertime is hot, some people don't want to wear fragrance, especially 90 plus degrees. I wouldn't really reach, reach for a fragrance, but to each its own, you can rock it. Occasion wise, you can wear it date night. You can wear it casual. You can wear it to work. There's not a wrong time to wear this, and I haven't found anybody who is offended by this fragrance. So when I wear this fragrance out, I wore it to work. I did about five sprays and Nobody say anything negative. They said, oh, you smell good, Chris. What is it? And that's it. You know, like, oh, you smell good today. Like, what fragrance? I wonder what that is. So I wrote it down, let them know what it was. And they said, oh, I can afford that. It's like under 60 bucks. And I'm not sure if they're going to buy it or not, but it is what it is. I just gave them the information and they take it as it is. I gave them the website. Ratings and final thoughts. So for me personally, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. It covers the basics. It's an inspiration of another fragrance, so you can't give it a perfect 10. And it's affordable for people that are on a budget. It's most close to the real thing of Santel 33 by Lila Bow. And that's pretty much where I stand with it. I think it's a decent release. If my brothers wanted a fragrance like this, I would get it for them for their birthday or for Christmas. Just so they can smell close to the real thing if they don't want to break the bank. And at the end of the day, um, I want people to smell amazing without going broke or having a fragrance addiction problem. Because that is a real thing. And maybe I'll do a video about that in the future. But to each its own. You, you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars to smell good. You can buy a fragrance like this for $40 and you're going to smell good and feel happy and you have money in your pocket to go to the movies, maybe grab some wings or go out with your friends and family and enjoy life. You know what I mean? It's not worth breaking the bank buying two, three hundred dollar fragrances. At the end of the day, it's just a scent. It's scented water, right? But definitely check out ALT Fragrances. This fragrance is great and it's very affordable. I'm gonna wear this until I can actually save up more money to buy the real thing, but I can wear this in the meantime and I'm gonna smell very close to it, about 90% and I'm happy with that. If you tried any fragrances from this house, let me know down below. What are some of your favorite ALT fragrances? Whether they're, they're inspiration of their expensive niche fragrances like Creed or La La Beau. Um, or Byredos or fragrances like Your Sauvage, Blue de Chanel. Let me know what your favorites are down below. You made this far in the video. Thanks for watching. Please share your support absolutely free. Click that red subscribe button down below. Give me a like and click the bell icon to miss any future content on this channel. Be safe everyone. I'll see you in the video very soon. Peace.